Hi there, it's Julia Tabith here, Certified Holistic Nutritionist and Lifestyle Coach at RosamaHealthy.com and welcome to a new video. So if you have been diagnosed with thyroid imbalances or you suspect you have thyroid issues and if you're wondering about iodine, this video is for you because today we are going to talk about iodine and actually the truth about iodine, what you must, must know before you start adding large doses of iodine to help your thyroid get better. Now, what's interesting about thyroid and what's scary about thyroid as well is that 200 million in the world approximately have this disease. 200 million! And just, just, just to give you kind of the scale of it, the population of London is about 7 million. We are talking about 200 million of people in the world who experience thyroid disorders. And um, about 60% of people don't actually know that they have thyroid imbalances. So they wake up with low energy, with fatigue, with low, they, they function with low libido, they have this depression, they gain weight, and they just keep battling every single day, not realizing that they have a thyroid imbalance. And if they're lucky enough to go to their doctor and kind of suggest thyroid testing and do and get diagnosed correctly as well, then um, they might find out that they have thyroid imbalances. And when people do, people who, who are into kind of alternative natural approaches to, to healing themselves, first thing they do is they go and Google things and how to heal thyroid naturally or how to balance thyroid naturally and a lot of information is presented to them and they scan and they get confused and they go, oh, what do I do? You know, what do I do about it? So what should you do? And especially if you start researching, you're bound to come across information that you've got to take iodine to help you balance your thyroid. Or if you go to perhaps a naturopath or functional doctor, they will probably tell you that, uh, and some, some, you know, healers and health coaches will probably tell you that you need to take iodine and iodine is essential and uh, you know something that lacks in our soil and something that we must supplement with on a day-to-day -day basis so what should you do what should you do so when it comes to iodine it's true yes it is an essential nutrient that you know we we need to get in, in into our diet and it, it is contained in, in in foods that we eat and some water that we drink as well and um, up until now, what um, people have been people have been references referencing a lot of Japanese studies. So Japanese studies were done, and um, they showed that people in Japan consume high amounts of iodine, and they don't experience so many thyroid issues. So therefore, we must all consume high amounts of iodine. But later studies found that that wasn't correct at all. And actually what Japanese were consuming in their diet was just relatively small amount of iodine, one to three uh, milligrams per day. And when you go to people who recommend high doses of iodine, you will hear them telling you that, oh no, it's got to be 12 milligrams per day or more. And you know, that's that's a lot of iodine. The American Thyroid Association actually issued a statement warning people against high amounts of iodine, iodine, including potassium iodide and um, iodine found in, in kelp. And what they said that it can actually damage your thyroid. So taking too much iodine can actually cause damage to your thyroid. Now there were some studies, um, or actually. Uh, what what they did what they did in China they thought oh okay so our soil is deficient so let's start adding iodine to salt and let's start uh, producing iodized salt so they did that and what they noticed was that people started to experience more hypothyroidism so so people's instead of them witnessing oh yes it's working more iodine is actually working and helping people prevent thyroid imbalances they witnessed the, op the opposite and they actually started seeing how more people were starting to experience thyroid imbalances. So since then they had to review their decision and they had to rethink adding iodine to, to salt. So the recommended high dose of iodine 
what you really need to be aware of is that it's really high and um, I've done it myself and I've personally experienced with it and this is you know this is why I just have so so much passion about it because I don't want you to repeat my mistakes first and second I don't want you to go through nightmare with your hormones and it's all too easy for practitioners and I've seen several actually and uh, very expensive and highly reputable practitioners and doctors as well who said well, yes, you just you need to take iodine and take iodine in uh, larger doses. And every single time I would do that, I would experience nightmare. Just uh, literally. So I would try to do it with kelp. I would try to do it with potassium iodide. Then, um, th then of course, they would tell me that I wasn't doing it right, that I needed more vitamin C, that I needed selenium, that I needed to lower my antibodies, that I needed to do bromine detox, that I needed to do this and that and the other, which I did all of that. And so I lowered my antibodies, so I reversed Hashimoto's naturally, and it was still leading to nightmare, hormonal nightmare, where uh, my TSH would, would go too high. But not only that, my T3 would drop as well, so sometimes seen rise in TSH when, when you take in certain amount, small amount of iodine can be fine and then your, your thyroid gland adjusts to it. But when your T3 is too low and when you feel like sleeping all day long, when you actually have the symptoms of uh, low function in thyroid and when you feel depressed and bad and fatigued and uh, you lose your libido and you really just living becomes a struggle, then you start to question and you start to understand, well, actually, I felt much better without taking high amounts of iodine. So I want you to be very careful with supplementing with iodine. I have seen my clients reverse Hashimoto's naturally, and I have seen my clients get off medication, thyroxine medication, and uh, balance their thyroids naturally, actually without supplementing with high doses of iodine. So this is something that also needs to be considered. And again, science shows that high doses of iodine are not beneficial for your thyroid health and in fact can actually damage your thyroid. Alrighty, so this is what I wanted to share with you in this video today. And if you want to discover the five steps that our clients use to reverse their hormonal imbalances and drop 10 to 50 pounds of excess weight completely naturally, start feeling beautiful and amazing again, then join me for my free online masterclass where I will walk you through these steps and I really help you change your diet and lifestyle. So the link is on the screen. It's rossomhealthy.com forward slash webinar. So it's claim your free spot and do it now because, you know, before, before life happens and life gets in the way. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with other other people. Subscribe to our channel for more videos and in the meantime, eat sweet, keep fit and I look forward to seeing you again in our next video. Bye for now!